Hey there, Bridge Church. This is Pastor Charlie, and I want to welcome you to our worship service today. I hope you came full of faith as we get into week two of the sermon series, The Voice of God. And listen, if you weren't here last week and couldn't make it to service, then I would encourage you to go online to our podcast and listen to week one of this series, or you can go to our resource center and you can order a CD copy of the message. But I really do want to encourage you, if you didn't catch the message, to do that, listen to it, and get up to date with God with what God is doing through this series. It's going to be awesome, and I believe you're going to have so many testimonies of hearing the voice of God in your life over this holiday season. Now, you may have heard that we postponed our Keep Jacksonville Warm outreach until a time that the weather cools down a little bit more and those blankets will be desperately needed by those that currently right now are without shelter in our city. So keep your eyes and ears open for a new date that we reschedule that. And until then, guess what? That gives us more time to continue to collect blankets. We're believing the Lord for over 100 blankets to come in. So we need you to get involved and help by bringing in new or slightly used blankets. There are clearly marked receptacle bins all throughout the foyer that you can place those blankets in when you bring them. So get involved and help us keep Jacksonville warm. Now, I'm talking to all of my Vision Youth out there. We have the Vision Youth Christmas Party this upcoming Wednesday. It's going to be great. It's always a fun time. And so you want to be there. Make sure you drag mom and dad out of the house that Wednesday night and get to the Christmas party. And to participate in the gift exchange, you need to bring a gift valued at no more than $5. And you will be involved and participating in the gift exchange. So Vision Youth, make sure that you're here this upcoming Wednesday for the Vision Youth Christmas Party. Now, I know I say this all the time, but I'm going to keep saying it because it's so important. You know that it takes more than just a few people to put on our worship services on Sundays and Wednesdays. We need you to get involved by getting connected with a service team here at the Bridge Church. You can get connected anywhere from the ushers, the greeters, our technical team. We even have people that come in and clean and prepare the building. And we need your help and participation. So if God is speaking to you about getting involved, then we'd love to have you. You can see myself, Pastor Marissa, or you can head out to our resource center. Let them know that you want to get connected. The Servolution is on, and we want to see you involved. Now, friends, I've mentioned we've got a lot of different dates coming up here over the holiday season for our worship experience, and so I want you to make sure that you have all of the dates that you need to be here with us over the next few weeks. So take a moment, grab a pen and a piece of paper, and write these important dates down so that you can be in the house of God over the next few weeks for our worship services. Now, we have our regularly scheduled refuel service on Wednesday the 21st. That's going to be awesome. We're going to be closing up the series on provision, so you don't want to miss that. We will have our Christmas Eve service on uh, Saturday the 24th from 5 to 6 p.m. It's an hour-long service, and it's going to be awesome. We've got some great things planned that night for you. And then we do not have service on Sunday the 25th. That's Christmas Day, so you'll be uh, able to enjoy your time with your family, opening up your Christmas gifts and celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior. Then coming up on Wednesday the 28th, we have our regularly scheduled refuel service. And then on Friday the 30th, we have our Prophecy Blitz with Soul Bait Ministries. That's going to be from 7 to 9 p.m. And then we want to make sure that you are in the house on Sunday, January 1st, as we kick off the year strong in worship on that Sunday morning. That is going to be awesome. You don't want to miss it. So make sure that you write all of that down and get involved and in the house of God over this holiday season. Well, friends, again, we're excited to be here today to worship God, and I know that you're going to be blessed as we get into week two of this sermon series on the voice of God. So get your Bibles out. Let's get ready to expect God to move through his word today. God bless you.